How's it going everyone? Liam Caddison here. We're on episode 5 of season 6 for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as it makes its return. Um, which, to be fair, uh, I could sorely need right now. Um, this is the other thing. Um, yeah, sorry if I lack the energy department today because I just haven't had the best night emotionally. And, uh, like I said, uh, um, my fa one of my favorite shows of all time, I could do with this. Um, so, yeah. But last time was really, really awesome because we had Deke return. We also had, um, May being captured by Sarge, um, so that's going to be very, very interesting. I mean, I assume, sh well, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s obviously want going, to going to try and find her, but, I mean, let's face it, May could probably get out of there on her own. Not to ju not to discredit S.H.I.E.L.D. or anything, but this is Melinda May we're talking about. So, um, yeah, but, um... Yeah, it was a really, really great episode uh, last time out with uh, Deke and what he's been up to since uh, the ending of Season 5. So, yeah, I'm excited to be getting back into the groove of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, with that said, um, let's do that. Um, I don't know if the extended reaction is going to come, le like, uh, I don't know. It'll, it'll come tonight in some form, just want, it'll be either one way or later, I guess, so yeah, but um, yeah, it will be up, uh, but yeah, with that said, let's get on with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., episode 5 of season 6, let's go. Does Liam really need this right now? I don't... Do oh, gee, Phil, not fake as Sarge! I like watching you sleep. This whole island's like a sound machine. Of course, ASMR. A little bit. ASMR. All by our lonesomes at last. What do you want? Why am I here? This would be a great time to say you're the real Phil Coulson. You. You're not gonna do shit. You're not gonna do shit. You know, this would honestly be the good time to say I'm the real Phil. This is all a joke. Just take a minute. You lost to someone that's never easy. I'm that's getting used thing. to losing people. But you shouldn't. I didn't have a choice. Per an innocent person like you shouldn't be used to this. I have to, to be this. responsible for everyone. I wasn't getting in the way of that. Without you, we never would have been able to get home and save Earth from destruction. And they will always the remember that. How noble you are. survived its extinction level event. And it was all because of you. Oh, very, well, very just, just good give it. friend. Oh. But... So let's get into it. Oh boy. Yeah, he's wanting closure. Which I wouldn't blame. Like, if someone recognized my face, I'd be like, wait. Like, if I was in Sarge's predicament, except more kinder, I would be like, did someone yes, clone me? Then I will face my punishment. They're not shooting first. Come on, man, not cool. Don't lock us in here. We hardly even know that Enoch guy. Yeah, and my buddy here is nursing a wicked hangover. I mean, could we at least get some water or something? He gets cranky. <laughs> oh, these two are in the same cell like, yeah, as each other. It was being nice. You're a whiny bitch. I don't think you need to worry about keeping them prisoners. They'll just kill each other. Chronica 2 is gone. That cannot well, that be. sucks. My god. Tell us what happened. In recent years, there were whispers of strange phenomena on distant planets. Entire worlds were seriously destroyed. Oh, is this related to the we stuff never on Earth? What happened to our lies. A favorite human pastime. We're telling you the truth, hard to say. Well, that's a bit rude. But I was prepared. Oh, what? What? Bestie. Oh, bestie! This show is just trying to piss me what off. <laughs> but I am going to kill you. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure it hurts. <laughs> Melinda May, everyone. So this imposter. We can't not love her. What was he? Synth? Shapeshifter? He was a person. What are you? I'm not buying it. Out of the whole galaxy, 
He just happened to be on a planet that I ended up on. Try again. What was he? Decent. An Avenger. Everything. I know how he lived and died. Everything. Hey. So the question you should be asking is who the hell are you? I love this. Zach. This is really amazing. And that was that's some really intense acting. I love it. Too much wine? No, it's the other thing. I'm gonna see Phil die. <sighs> oh no. Is that is does he have the thing inside? Yeah, he does. Oh boy. Oh. That is morbid. These are, these are zombie birds or whatever they are. Shit. Oh shit. Go on, mate. I just love her. I just freaking love her. Panion, he and I have had many adventures together. I am He's trying to friend. save our entire race. And you are concerned about the welfare of one human. Hey, one Why? amazing, recently wonderful human. Bitch, you don't even know. Huh. Put Gemma's so, in danger and Fitz can solve anything. What the hell? Enoch. Enoch. Let him live. And her. Kill the others. You, like, bitch, you need, you need to, to stay it. down. I can kick her ass. Like that. His family fought me on it, but after a few days, I had him turn off the ventilator. The hardest never things will you could do me. as a human being. It's the hardest choice I've ever made. But it's I took comfort. Everyone. And knowing it was the right one. And so should you. World then track anything that doesn't belong there and kill it. That's why you came after Deke. Yep, because he doesn't Our belong there. shows he's not from here. But he's no Shrike. What is he? That's, what, he that's why... <laughs> Nothing good has come from That's why things. he was saying, oh, you're different. And these monoliths each had unique capabilities. I was thinking the monoliths, okay. Yeah. Space, time, and... This one we never found out. Dimension, 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 from, dimension, uh, dimension. Wrong, but... Creator. A person. A monster. This is the closest I've come to stopping it, and I've been hunting for as long as I can remember. So he had his but own shield exactly? basically trying to what stop this remember? menace. A few weeks, a year back. You got anything before that? I've been tearing my Ooh. way through this galaxy since before. Every dream is someone else's nightmare. What? Wait. What did you say? The Shriker of Cancer. This is no coincidence that he's echoing Phil. In fact. How do you plan to do that? To stop the spread, you cut off the limb. When their creator arrives, I'm gonna burn it all down. <laughs> I can't leave you. I love how she's reasonable. Oh, she's being now. Whatever happens, at least I'll be with Fitz. We'll have each other. Being completely selfless. I'm here for the May action. I'm. Ah, oh, shit, no. He was your dream. I'm your nightmare. Go to hell. It's more than just a face, Sarge. Holy shit! That is so powerful, and I this show I I just keep loving it more and more.
Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Tremors. Director. Hi. <laughs> Oh man. Where's Fitz and Simmons? Sir, Agent May just called. She's on her way back. She caught him. Caught who? Oh shit. <laughs> so yeah. Simmons would serve well as motivation. I mean, technically he's what? not wrong, but. It was the only way I could prevent Damn your it, execution Eno. and also help my people. You're useless. No good. Automaton. There is no need for pejoratives. You are the absolute worst! On the bright side, you and... Enoch, Hello? what the shit? Enoch? Ah! Okay, bro. Oh my god, no! Enoch, come on! I gotta say though, that was probably the best episode of um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6. For me personally, I just really enjoyed it. Although, I do remember making a tweet uh, a few weeks back when I saw the uh, episode synopsis for Episode 6. Um, and I think that might be the best episode of season six. So we'll just have to wait and see. But um, I haven't seen the promo. It's just I read the synopsis and I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Or, oh, shit, here we go again. Um, I know it's a it, it's supposed to be heavily focused on Fitzsimmons. Um, but yeah, that's all I really know. So, yeah, because I don't watch the promos because uh, usually... Uh, with whatever, I don't want to take that chance of getting potentially spoiled. Because CW does it all the time. Like, here's a spoiler. Here's another spoiler. <laughs> so, um, it's not worth the chance. But yeah, um, yeah, I, like I said, though, I thought it was one of the best episodes. Like, I thought it was the best episode of season six. Because there was just a lot of amazing moments in that episode. Like, Ming especially. Uh, like, there were some moments where she just shone through through dialogue and of course we got to see her incredible um fight like we got to see a lot of her in action today which was which i can always go for because um may has all may has always been my favorite character and i think this episode just really solidified how amazing she is uh especially with her confronting sarge and she's having that bit of crisis um differentiating phil and sarge um and i don't know like i'm trying to think back to um sarge trying to deny the fact that um he's a doppelganger and that phil is actually a doppelganger i think he's in denial if anything i think he's trying to put on a front so he doesn't um I know, like, he, it was only him and May, but even then, you don't want to lose your slip on your strength and all of that. I think he has to be strong, and any signs of him coming to that realisation that, oh shit, I might be a doppelganger, it, like, any signs of that is, like, um, showing weakness, and he can't afford that. Because um, he had that, um, I think it was Pax he was conversing with, um, he was stunned when he was referred to uh when he was referred to as colson um and he said that name rings a bell so i do feel like he is an incarnation of colson then again you could um you could say like if he is from another universe because we we had the monolith situation which seems to connect to the um to the shrike as they called um and we have that, uh, and they are prominent uh, all over again with um, uh, them identifying the first two monoliths of space and time. What comes after that? Dimension, surely. Um, so he's probably, he is probably from another world. And it could be that debate, like uh, like Earth 1 me, for example. Like, let's say the multiverse theory is true and all of that. I'm always going to believe I am the original and all of that. Earth 2 Liam. Pfft. Earth 3 Liam. Yeah, no hell, no. Um, yeah, he, he he might feel that dominance factor, um, and um, that this world is 
uh, lesser to the one he's from. He, what's interesting though, he didn't, I don't know if he's stated his species, but he has said that he has lived for hundreds of years. So, um, it's just really, really, um, um, interesting because he has heard of Coulson before. It's not an anomaly though. Like, uh, he goes around stating, uh, he says that, um, oh, I'm going to fix anomalies and all of that. Um, whether they're Shrike or if it's something like Deke, that's why he was uh, an exception. Uh, he was, like, different, should I say, um, because he didn't have a Shrike in him. So, yeah, I, I think he is the original, uh, I think he is Coulson, should I say. Um, but he is in denial and he's got to keep that um, strength. Because any any moment of slippage, like any moments of him going like, oh shit, no, is a sign of weakness. And he doesn't want to show that, not even to, to his hostage, hostages, but you don't want to do that anyway. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really, really thought it was a really great episode. Like, the best of season six thus far. Um, because it's... Um, like I said, Ming's acting was just amazing, and she, she was just fabulous in her fights. Um, we got to see May and Phil uh, on Tahiti, and we got to see Phil die. Um, we, yeah, it was just really great, and there was some really amazing dialogues in this episode as well. Um, Gemma was being selfless again. I just love this episode to death, and H and also we. Uh, are going back to um something that's been established in the past like season five with gra uh, gravitonium with the monoliths uh, like i said they are connected to these uh to the shrike in some capacity so uh that will be very very interesting and yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next week because like i said synopsis seems promising uh, but apart from that, I am uh, unsure about what is going to happen. But all I know is, got a nice bottle of whiskey there, so I'm probably going to need that. Um, because Fitzsimmons, uh, they never have it easy, though. Although, um, I really, really did um, like Gemma being so selfless by staying behind, letting Daisy, uh, Davis, and Piper go back to Earth rather than being executed because Enoch's got a point Fitz and uh, Fitzsimmons like combined are like a really re like they are a force to be reckoned with especially intellectually um and Fitz does need Simmons like that motivation and all of that just the way Enoch handled it ah but um yeah uh I, but I do get it though. Like I, I, I do get it. I do get why Enoch was so, um, I get, I guess aggressive in terms of, um, putting Fitz in, uh, well, pissing off Fitz and, um, being in that predicament of, okay, well, we need to save, uh, uh this planet because, um, if you have an opportunity to save your planet, you're going to do that. So yeah, but, um, Especially with, um, like, um, this being a reason to keep Fitz alive. Because that, like, that was one of his reasons. Like, he values Fitz as his best friend and all of that. Um, he had to do some drastic things and all of that. And, uh, um, like, especially with Gemma, Fitz doesn't want Gemma in that situation. He doesn't want, he doesn't want Gemma to be hurt whatsoever. So, yeah. Although... I mean, I would say endgame spoilers, but surely you would have seen it by now. Like, um, so if you haven't for some weird reason and have somehow avoided the internet, skip now. Um, have you, have you skipped? Good. So what I really, really find funny is, um, I know there's been some debate about, oh, uh, this is not really connected to, to endgame because, uh, like they didn't want to spoil anything. I do love how um agent still keeps a bit of connection because they're figuring a way to time travel to undo a travesty um like tony did uh by trying to get the infinity stone so they can uh bring the people back to undo what thanos did so agents of shield are doing the same thing they are um tr uh figuring out a way to time travel to undo 
uh, the destruction of um of the Chronicons uh Chronicoms home planet. So yeah. Spoilers end there. Um but yeah, um I t- like it seems to suggest that it is all down to the Shrike. Um I don't know. They did they did go into further detail like um about um like they they made it sound like it was something like rifts or something like an anomaly and all of that but uh yeah we we did get a good juicy segment with the chromicons and their world being destroyed um and because humans saved their world from extinction they're like it's no fair why can't we do it so yeah um came off hostile but um yeah um maybe it will work for them we'll just have to wait and see um yeah i like i said though i personally thought this was um uh the best episode in my opinion uh especially with the tahiti comments um i did love some of uh the some of the uh chemistry between certain characters like yo-yo and benson um, I really, really, um, did love that speech about Yo-Yo feeling guilty, even though she had to do the right thing. Uh, Benton can relate because he had to turn off the, uh, life support, which we got to find out what happened to his partner, which, uh, is, uh, tragic. I mean, it's, death's always going to be tragic, but especially with a life support machine, it, that is one of the hardest choices, um, I feel like you could make, um, ever. It, 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 it crushes you. Um, and I couldn't help but feeling like I relate relate so much to um Yo Yo and 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 Benson in that discussion because I had to make a very very hard choice yesterday and I feel and I feel like shit today so um and I didn't want to do it but certain circumstances um forced me into I'm not going to go into any details and all of that because I don't want to glance on it too much um but. All I can say is I could relate. It hurts to do something that you don't want to do, but you feel like you have you have to do um that thing. So yeah. Um it's a- also I do get the feeling like we're branch like with whoever created the Shrike, we're branching into like a two part series if if you get what I mean. Because um, we know that these seasons have been cut from 22 episodes to 13 episodes, uh, which is a benefit because um, I don't think a season should need 22 seasons long. I mean, a lot of shows manage uh, 13 episode runs anyways. Uh, the 100 manage it well. Uh, Doctor Who managed it well. Um, and I could go on. Um, but I do feel like with the mentioning of Sarge saying that there is a greater evil out there. Um, it kind of it kind of makes sense why season six and seven, um, like were announced because they're like a two part season. Because season seven's said to be, uh, uh, there were rumors saying season seven is supposed to be the last season, um, but that was denied. Um, but it does seem like uh, we ha- kind of have a reason why season seven was also announced because they're doing like a, a two part season because I don't think the creator of the Shrike is going to make it a pe- like we're probably going to get a tease at the end of season six, but I don't think he- he's going to be dealt with um, in season uh, six and uh, the focus because I at the halfway point, I do kind of see it a bit difficult with the chron- uh, chronic comms with sergeant cook because there's still a problem yeah they're the lesser of two evils but their actions are not exactly like what they have done and uh and their like representation to shield not exactly been noble so they've got to uh, be sorted out in some capacity although i do think that i do have a kind of a crack theory i guess if, i think that's the term that the framework was kind of prominent i mean it could all be for shits and giggles and all of that but i want to see like oh this has meaning and all of that like i want to see certain things like the framework have so much meaning um to the overall plot of the of the of the season so i think in some capacity maybe the framework is going to aid resurrect phil to a degree because he's got phil's body so why not implant the memories uh of phil uh, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Because um, it, it's still kind of shitty taking 
over someone's identity and all of that back because you basically want a fan service and all of that. But something could happen to um Sarge, like he loses his memory or something like that. Um like he like he loses everything about him somehow or he um I don't know something happens with him and his encounter with the Shrike and they need to uh, fix him up and all of that. So we'll just have to wait and see though. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this though. This episode was just really good. There was some amazing speeches. There was some great chemistry, especially Davis and Piper. I just love them too so much. They're going to kiss by the end of the season. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Um, Daisy was incredible. It seems like I'm really, really glad that she is very, very... I like, I think she's got all the right to be concerned about Fitz uh, anyways, because he's still a member of the team, despite what Fitz did last season. But also, this is not the same Fitz that operated on her. She, I think she's wise to know that this Fitz didn't do this to me, so I have no beef with him, really. Um... But I just love the concern. Um, like you're you're gonna you're gonna let him, you're gonna give him to us, or shit's getting ugly and all of that. So yeah, um, yeah, this was great. This was a really really great episode. A nice confrontation. Like I said, the uh, the Tahiti flashbacks was very very emotional. Uh, especially seeing um, Phil and May, and Phil's deteriorating status was crushing. But yeah, there was a lot to love about this episode, especially the confrontation between um, Sarge and May. But yeah, great episode. I absolutely loved it so much. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check out my videos on the right if you want to check out all my content. You can also subscribe to my Media Pizza channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!